Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back everybody for what has been a pretty volatile day in the cryptocurrency market. Um, we will cover that and everything associated with that in tomorrow's video, but this or daily cryptocurrency market video, but this is really going to be a video specifically looking at Binance as an exchange as there are growing concerns surrounding Binance and their solvency um, or what some people are essentially calling for insolvency. Now, I'm going to share my thoughts for anybody that has an ear to lend to hear what I'm going to say. Um, and I personally have no issues with Binance. I still hold funds on Binance. Um, I think it's natural after what happened with FTX for people to want to um, custody their own assets. You know, FTX was... A pretty traumatic event, I think, for the entire crypto space. I personally know people that lost seven figures in on FTX. Probably never to be seen again. And um, we know we got news that Sam Bankman Fried was actually arrested in the Bahamas today. We covered it in an earlier video. But I want to talk about Binance and, and what's going around at the moment, or what's doing the rounds at the moment in regards to them not being solvent and people's fears um in regards to Binance essentially potentially having the same thing happen to them as what FTX had now i want to say that i believe that that's not likely i think that these fears have grown and been amplified as a result of i believe that Binance or CZ or or, or either Binance or CZ has essentially been charged um with money laundering or there's a potential money laundering case being charged to Binance. Um, and of course, they recently um, sort of did a proof of reserve and there was a lot of red flags that were raised. Now, I think this proof of reserve was kind of put together quite quickly. Um, it was done by an auditor um, and it essentially had said that Binance had provided certain things and, and was saying that Binance was 101% capitalized in regards to uh, user funds and had more than just the user funds on the exchange. So I want to really talk about this. Look at the allegations that are being thrown against Binance. We've got people like this individual coming out and saying, remove your funds from Binance immediately. This is not a test or a joke. Um, and of course, CZ has came out and sort of expressed his opinions on all of this. We are seeing uh, quite substantial, I think over a billion dollars or getting close to two, three billion dollars worth of funds outflows from Binance. I think this has got a lot to do with FTX. And I think that people are once bitten, twice shy, and they would rather now practice self-custody, which I'm a big advocate for in regards to leaving their funds on Binance. Um, which I always think a better safe than sorry approach is necessary. But I think that a lot of what's being levied against Binance is nothing more than FUD. People have a real vested interest or it's popular to sort of theorize all of this, even though Binance has really come out in spite of what happened with FTX and actually shown nothing but strength and resilience. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video so we are still seeing the outflows we'll look at cz's comments in relation to that. It's normal you know whenever we get any kind of traumatic event for the crypto space there's always fear of exchange insolvencies and you know tether's a good example of this whenever there's some sort of issue in crypto tether's questionability always gets um brought up uh, and it's really for fear of a, a sort of bank run but an exchange run where people mass withdraw and then, then they don't have the funds to pay out that's what happened with ftx in a nutshell but I think what FTX were doing is vastly, vastly different. And we're going to look at wallets, um, you know, of course, net worth of Binance. Total assets is 62 uh, billion. We can account and we know the Binance wallet wallets that actually hold around about 45 billion. Um, and of course, there has been reports and, and, and very publicly reports uh, saying that Binance is actually solvent and, and actually make their money via fees and not leveraging like what what Sam Bankman, that criminal, and um, um, other exchanges may look to do. So I, I think a lot of this is FUD. I'm not 100% vouching for Binance, but what I am saying is I do have large sums of capital on there. Uh, I do also have capital in self-custody, whether it be a ledger, MetaMask, whatever it may be. Um, and I'm very 
you know, I, I don't plan to move my funds from Binance um, just yet until I see something concrete um, that we haven't got yet. A lot of it's just rumors and people saying, oh, look, you know, I don't think Binance would have made a rod for their own back with the proof of reserve if they couldn't back it up. Uh, I don't think it was a bluff by any means. So Binance withdrawal surge as concerns about its reserve report spooks traders. I wouldn't call these people traders, more investors. Binance endured 902 million of net outflows in the past 24 hours, according to data by uh, Nansen. So Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange by trading volume, endures a wave of withdrawals on Monday amid concerns about the proof of reserve report. Net outflows, the difference between the value of assets arriving and leaving the exchange hit $902 million. In the past 24 hours, according to data by blockchain intelligence platform Nansen, Binance net outflows has surpassed those of all other centralized exchange in the last 24 hours. Binance is, in some cases, to the tunes of 10, 20, 40x larger than most other exchanges, by the way, guys. Um, so that's kind of natural. Um, and is almost nine times larger than the second largest outflow. So I think a lot of this is the spillover from FTX. People are now going to go, okay, well, if, if FTX went down and, and most people didn't really suspect it, given who Sam Bankman Fried was running shoulders with, like the Clintons, Blair, you know, the usual crowd. Um, I think people are sort of wanting to practice self-custody and I, I actually think that it's not a bad thing at all. Um, the outflow was the highest for Binance since November uh, 13th, two days after the FTX uh, filing for bankruptcy protection. So again, they actually have seen higher outflows. It's just that the the sort of rumors are doing the rounds at the moment. Again, you've got people on Twitter who don't post any kind of a reasoning why um, they believe that Binance isn't safe. Um, and then, of course, you've got potentially money laundering charges. You know, Binance released a uh, report by auditing firm. We'll look at this in just a second. We'll also look at some of the wallets. Last week, claiming that its uh, Bitcoin BTC reserves are over-collateralized, industry experts and recent reports uh, flayed the documents for its narrow scope on Monday. It was rather vague, I must admit that. Uh, Reuters reported that US prosecutors are mulling criminal charges for possible money laundering against Binance and its executive, Zoe. So... I'm a fan of CZ, actually. I think he, he's been a sort of guiding light during everything that's happened. Obviously, he wants to be very transparent and cares about the crypto space, of course, if nothing else, for the fact that he, he he's um, became a multi-billionaire of it and has one of the largest uh, crypto exchanges. Um, but I've been here long enough to see so many um, allegations and charges be brought forth to Binance. Usually, they get settled or solved. Um, and then, of course, it's highlighting the fact that we see a huge um, amount of of uh, withdrawals on Binance. We know that they also um, halted uh, USDC withdrawals, but you can still withdraw everything else because obviously I think they, they then there was a, I, I remember I used Binance, so I got a note saying that anything that was in USDC was going to get moved to BUSD uh, or was going to get moved to USDT. Um, so it kind of makes sense they're doing that. They've obviously got clearing banks that they've got to work with. Um, but essentially with this report, and I'll just find it, there was um, Binance Bitcoin reserves are over collateralized, new report says. There was a lot of speculation that um, this report wasn't thorough enough, even though these guys are quite a big name in the industry. Um, you know, it said they had an overcollateralized lap. They have they had an overcollateralized of 101, so they had one percent over what was actually supposed to be there um, in regards to Bitcoin. Um, and and the kind of I think real concern here um, was that this was not thorough enough. However, the great thing about blockchain is a lot of the wallets are public. Um, and we'll get into that in just a second. I'm happy for people to keep funded foot in Binance, even though I've got funds on it. Uh, the reason being is I will be an investor and quite a large investor um, 
I wouldn't say quite a large investor. Actually, that's completely uh, not true compared to some of the people who have or are investing in Binance. I'd say maybe a mid investor in this token if it gets to some of the levels that we've got set out. So maybe the FUD is going to help it get there a little bit faster. Uh, and certainly these sort of comments with no kind of proof or evidence. The internet's a dangerous place, guys. This was some of CZ's responses or one of CZ's responses. We saw some withdrawals today, net 1.14-ish billion dollars. Uh, we have seen this before. Some days we have net withdrawals. Some days we have net deposits. Business as usual for us. I actually think it's a good idea to stress test withdrawals on each exchange and on a rotating basis. So it's very actually for this. You know, the issue with these exchanges going under are essentially when they're, they've took funds and they've essentially scattered it around the place you know they've leveraged it they've they've sent out a loan here that they're doing an interest on or whatever it whatever it may be they've gone in some sort of weird creepy DeFi protocol that they set up themselves or in some bankman freed's case they were just lent it's just insanity what's coming out of that now um whereas binance have their business model is to make money off, to be an exchange to make money off being an exchange and they've done a good job of it in my uh opinion I do have to say props to Binance for handling the, the withdrawal efficiency. It did 10 transactions, all handled within one hour. It costs some network fees to run these tests, but keeps the industry healthy. Exchange business is simple. Um, if an exchange holds user assets, as is, no amount of other people's tweets will cause problems. Simple. And I think that's the short and curlies of it. So far, despite this report being somewhat vague from uh, Mazara's, you know, there's no evidence that Binance is over leveraged in, they may have leverage in certain areas in terms of DeFi lending uh, and borrowing, but there's no real evidence that Binance have took on leverage to the tune of like, you know, a third of the funds that are out of their, their capital or anywhere near that. Um, whereas with obviously, uh, I mean, it's crazy that when Sam's been giving some of these interviews, Sam Bankman freed that he's actually just blatantly said, I don't know what happened with that billion or this billion or these billions. And it's like, well, this, this was people's money that you took, you animal, you know? Um, so forgive me for getting a little bit passionate about that. Like I say, I know people that personally lost seven figures as a result of FTX. Um, I don't feel that sorry for people like Kevin O'Leary who promoted FTX and was a massive prop proprietor and proponent of it. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any concerns. This was, uh, wait, Binance have 60 million, uh, 60 billion in cold wallets. Uh, this seems like 420 uh, magnitudes more professional than FTX scrambling in absolute SHIT DeFi farms just to meet last a uh, few redemptions before they OD'd. Um, and FTX barely had a cold wallet. So why are people so scared? Then goes on to reference a tweet from Larry Kermark, or Kermak, forgive me if I'm butchering your name there. Um, he is a VP of research at The Block. And he essentially, most of these are public, but in case anyone finds all wallets, I have tagged um, as Binance here it is. So this is not all of this reserves that they're claiming to have. This is just, and you can go and verify this on Binance Scan or Etherscan or, or, or whatever it is. Um, this is just $45 billion of them. So over two thirds. Is that right? Is my maths correct on that? Yes, it is. Um, over two thirds are actually on Binance um, or, or here. Over two thirds of the funds. Are you going to see more than a third of people try and take their funds out? Potentially not. However, if it does happen, I think it would be actually a good test for Binance. Like I say, I don't really have any sort of issues uh, with Binance and their sort of solvency. However, it, people love to get attention. Um, you know, they love to. I think it. I, I think in some people's cases, actually, it's very warranted them calling into question Binance. Uh, and they're after FTX, they're sort of solvency. Um, but there's a lot of people out there that are just jumping on the bandwagon right now. You know, even I have funds on Binance, so I could always take them off. And I do think practicing self-custody is a, is a good um, way to do things. Uh, 
Uh, but I have no real concerns over Binance or its solvency. I think they have a totally different business model to FTX. And I think that, you know, um, this is a quote, for example, we have found that Binance was 97% collateralized without taking into account the out of scope asset pledged by customers as collateral for the in scope asset lent through the margin and loan service offered, resulting in negative balance uh, balances of customer liabilities report. With the inclusion of in scope assets lent to customers through margin and loans, which are over collateralized by out of scope assets, we found that Binance was 101% collateralized. Binance's proof of reserves report doesn't address effectiveness of uh, internal financial controls, doesn't express an opinion or assurance conclusion and doesn't vouch for the numbers. I worked with the SEC at enforcement for 18 plus years. This is how I define a red flag. So I, I, I have got to say that um, I don't think anyone's going to put their neck on the line for Binance. Uh, and I do think that there is an element of you know, the, 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 these guys that did the audit not being thorough enough, but potentially I don't think that they legally maybe needed to be, uh, for example. I think that, um, you know, they'd have been presented with some stuff. I think it's good that CZ even did a proof of reserves. I'd love to see other exchanges come out and do that. Um, but I don't think these guys, I think, I think they just, it was like, you know, a, an audit that they were trying to sort of get out there. Um, and they took things at face value. So whether there's any shenanigans behind the scenes, one thing I do know is these are definitely wallets belonging to Binance and there's over $45 billion in there. And that's the ones we know about. They reckon that their actual cold wallet storage is $62.5 billion, um, which of course is is a massive amount of, of uh, nearly all of what's on Binance. Um, so... You've got to make your own mind up, guys. I, I can't tell you whether you should or shouldn't keep your funds on Binance. What I am here to say is that I personally um, do have funds on Binance. I do think after the FTX crash, we did move some funds around into cold storage, ledgers, and so on and so forth. Um, but really, um, you know, I still have funds on Binance and I still do. But, you know, I think, I think Binance is solvent and I think they're going to uh, persevere through this bull market and be the sort of um, leading light in terms of cryptocurrency exchanges into the future. And there's always been FUD thrown at Binance. Um, if you've been here for any length of time, you'd have seen it. That's all I've got for you in this video. So I've gone over a few things, what the allegations are, why these allegations are coming around, uh, really as a result of the lack of thoroughness potentially from the auditors. However, there is a lot to back up the fact that um, you know, they they do actually have the funds. Binance's business model is as an exchange. It's not as a sort of investment fund, like what we saw with Alameda Research, which is just, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm still like, is this a dream what happened with FTX? Do you know what I mean? It's um, crazy that these people were in charge of billions of dollars and, and they rightfully should be called uh, uh, into, act uh, into question as a result of it. So that's all I've got for you in this video, guys. If you've enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. So is a comment. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Have a uh, wonderful Tuesday, guys. See you in the next one.